If you've been wondering how to get started selling digital products like ebooks, courses, memberships, or digital downloads, then stay tuned because I'm going to show you how you can get started selling digital products using Gumroad. And the best part is you don't have to be tech savvy to get started. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach new and aspiring entrepreneurs how to use online business tools to help you create your own business and be your own boss. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can be a part of the boss tribe. So what is Gumroad? Gumroad is a simple e-commerce platform that will allow you to sell your digital products on their platform, which means you don't need a website to get started. Once a customer purchases your product, Gumroad will automatically deliver that product to your customer's email inbox. Now let's quickly talk about price. Gumroad does not charge a monthly fee. They do charge a commission plus a 30 cent transaction fee whenever you make a sale. This is great, especially if you are just getting started. You don't have to pay a monthly fee before you make your first sale. Now I'm going to break down this tutorial into three parts. I'm going to show you how to set up your profile, which is basically your shop page, how to add a product and your payouts, which is how you get paid from Gumroad. So let's jump into my computer screen so I can show you how to get started. To get started with Gumroad, you will need to sign up with Gumroad and you can do that by connecting your Facebook account or your Twitter account or simply sign up with your email. Once you signed up with Gumroad, you need to go to your dashboard and then from inside the dashboard, you want to click on profile. Now I've already have my profile set up because I actually do use Gumroad to sell a few of my digital products. So this is where you can, you can customize your profile page, which is essentially your shop page. Now Gumroad does not have a lot of customization features, but that's okay. What you can do is add a style and you can add a highlight color. So this can be one of your brand colors. You can add your profile picture. You can, your connections is basically connecting to your Facebook or your Twitter account. You can create a follow form. The last option is for products and you can customize how your products appear on your profile page. This section is your bio section. This is where you get to tell your customers who you are and what you are about. And once you're done customizing and adding your information, you just hit save. Before we move on to products, there's one last thing I want to show you from profile. This link here at the top, this is the link directly to your profile page or your shop page. So you make sure that you copy or keep a copy of your URL. Next, let's go ahead and add a product. So you go to the left hand toolbar and you select product. Then you go to the top right, click on new product. And it's asking you, what are you creating? A classic or a membership? I'm just gonna strictly show you how to set up a digital product. So to get started, I'm just going to add the name. Let's just put test product. And then my price, let's say it is 27. This option here says this product contains one or more physical goods. And this is because Gumroad does also allow you to sell physical products. But again, we're going to focus on digital products. Next, you want to click on the customize button. And this is where we get to add our product and edit all of the content for our product. On the left side, this is where we add and edit the information. Here on the right side is the preview. So as we add information, the right side will change. So if you wanted to change the name of your product, you can still do that here and you see how it changes on the right. The next section is a description. You want to describe what your product is and what the customer will be receiving. The next section allows for you to create a URL for your product. You can put the product name here, or if not, you will see this little, these letters here. That means that Gumroad has generated a URL link for you. The next section is your thumbnail. Your thumbnail image is what is going to appear on your profile page when someone goes to your profile for Gumroad and views your product. The size for this has to be 600 by 600 pixels. I've already created some images, so I'm going to go ahead and upload that. The next section is your cover photo. So this is basically like a header image. You can add an image or you can add a video. 
The image size has to be 1280 by 720 pixels. And it will appear in the top section of your product page. Okay, next we get to add some product info. The first section is to add a call of action. Now, Gumroad limits you to three call to action. So you will just decide which one that you want to choose. I'm going to just select this one. And the summary, you can add additional summary. So let's just say if I'm adding a course, I can let them know what they're getting. And if you want to add any additional details, you can do that. You can click add details. And so this section basically, let's say if, you, if it's a module, you can say video and 35 minutes. This is just an example guys. So, but this is to show you how you can use this feature. The next section is content. This is where you get to add your digital product. So I'm going to add a couple pieces of content just to show you some information. When you're done adding your content, you can move these around if you want these to appear in a certain order. Next is the integration for a circle community. If you have that platform, you can integrate that with Gumroad. Next is pricing. You can change the pricing here if you want. You can also turn on to allow your customers to pay what they want. You can include a minimum or a suggested amount. This next option is for different versions of your digital product. So if you have something like a bundle, you can do that here. This could be a option to like, upsell your digital product. So say like if you have a course and you can have a course plus a workbook, something like that, that is what this section is for. Now let's review settings. The first one is to limit product sales. So if you are running like some type of sale or promotional campaign, you can turn this on and say the first 50 people get it at this price or the first 50 people get it and then you won't release it ever again. The next option is to allow your customers to choose a quantity. If that is something that you want to do, you can also choose to publicly show the number of sales of your product. You can turn that on. You can generate a unique license key per sale. This is if you are selling some type of software and they need a key or license key to use the software. This next option, disable file downloads. This option will only appear if you added a video. So when I added my content, one of my content files that I uploaded was a video. So what this does is that if you are creating a digital course, you can turn this on and that means that the person or the customer can only view the course directly from Gumroad and they will not be allowed to download the digital course. So basically, Gumroad is going to act as a hosting site for your digital course. The next option is PDF stamping. What this basically does is stamp the first page of the PDF with the customer's email information. This is a way to deter people from sharing your content. And the last option is to mark the product as an e-publication for that purposes. If depending on what country you are in, this could apply to you. So the next section is Discover. This is Gumroad's marketplace. It's similar to, or you can compare it to like an Etsy marketplace where you can go in and search for a product and all the different products show up. So if you want your product to be shown in Gumroad's marketplace, you can turn that option on. There are some requirements to be a part of this Gumroad's Discover Market. And also there's an additional fee if you choose to have your products sold in Discover Market. Now let's move over here to the preview section and preview our product. If you press this arrow, you'll get a full page preview of what your product page would look like. After you've added all of your product content, you want to scroll back to the top and hit save changes. And just as a quick tip, you may want to hit save changes throughout the process. The next section we want to cover is the checkout process. If you want to add a discount code, 
Gumroad gives you the option to add a discount code. So if you want to save $10 off or 50% off coupon, you can do that. The next section is the payment form. And this is what the customer will see as they get ready to check out. The first option is the cardholder's name. They give you a few options here. I like to have the option full name field always will be shown. Because we are doing a digital product, there's no shipping information that is required. And if you want to add some additional fields, you can do that as well. I just leave that section blank because you want to make it as easy as possible for your customers to check out. And then this last section is basically their receipt. This is what they're going to receive in their email. So for the call to action button, you can type whatever you want to type. Gumroad does give you an option here. If you don't type anything, it's just going to save you content. But you can say something like access your product or the name of your product. You can do that, whatever you want your call to action to be. And your thank you note, you can thank your customer for purchasing the product. And also, I like to add information on how they can follow me on social media. You can add that information here. Once you're done, again, you're going to scroll back to the top, hit save changes. Now we're ready to publish our product. So you hit publish. Once you publish your product, then you can share your product. You have a few options. You can share it directly on Twitter and Facebook. You can copy your URL and you can put your URL anywhere that you want to sell your digital products, like in your email or in your social media links. If you do have a website and you know a little bit about code, you can embed your product page directly onto your website. This last section is your profile. You can determine if you want your product to show on your profile page. So let me show you how that will look. And now, and just like that, your product has been added to your profile page. Let's talk about payouts. Let's go over to our toolbar and select payouts. Go to settings. From here, you can choose your account type. You can choose to get paid as an individual or as a business. So if you are a business owner, you can add your business name and your business EIN number. If you're an individual, you just add your personal information, including your personal bank account. If you're doing it as a business, you will add your business bank account. There are two options to get your sales paid out to you from Gumroad. The first way is through Gumroad. Gumroad actually does payments on Fridays. So any sales you make throughout the week will get paid out to you on that Friday or the following Friday. The second option is to connect your PayPal account and you can have your sales paid out through PayPal. Um, just keep in mind that may be some additional fees from PayPal if you choose to set up your PayPal account. Okay, boss friends, so that is how you can get started selling digital products with Gumroad. I will leave a link down below in the description box so you can get started selling your digital products. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. If you thought this tutorial was super easy and you cannot wait to get started selling your digital products, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you need any ideas on what type of digital products to start selling, go ahead and check out this video right here. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.